Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, The Bliss Life. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Tritium and Palantir's investment in Tritium. Today it was confirmed that Palantir is investing $15 million, 2.5 million shares at $6 a piece. And this is a big deal because you do find out later in the day that Tritium had a press release with the White House. And why the White House? Because Tritium is creating a new space in Tennessee. They're going to be creating 500 jobs and Tritium is really going to bring their electric chargers or electric vehicle chargers to the u.s and start manufacturing it in the u.s and distributing it throughout the u.s so you could start to kind of see the synergies between Weijo, tritium palantir all that data connections and the relationship that all of these entities now all will or eventually have with the u.s government what I find the most interesting is that the press release takes place with the White House team and the most valuable player, President Joe Biden, is also on stage next to the CEO, which is huge. So let's watch the video. I have not watched it yet, so let's just check it out and I'll give you my thoughts uh, right after. So let's get started all right so the video is about to start right now i skipped to three minutes and seven seconds and this is where the ceo of tritium is going to get on stage let's see what she has to say let's see what president joe biden has to say and i'll give you my thoughts right after thank you gina and good afternoon mr president secretaries granholm and Buttigieg, and of course to Jim Cooper from Tennessee. It's a pleasure to join you all here today. I'm Jane Hunter, the CEO of Tritium, a global leader in DC fast charge technology for electric vehicles. It would be an understatement to say that this has been a very exciting month for Tritium. We listed on the NASDAQ, we rang the bell on Australia Day on the 26th, and now we have this opportunity to share Tritium's US manufacturing plans with the American people. Tritium is a great story of American-Australian partnership, continuing our two countries' historic alliance in world conflicts, trade, the environment, and technology. The Tritium mission is really simple. Two words, electrify, transportation. This vision of transport powered by renewable energy has inspired our team since 2012 when we built our first fast charger. A seismic technology change is on foot here. Electric cars, vans, buses, aircrafts, boats. These are the future of transportation. And for nations to prosper and gain economic benefit from this transition, they must be leaders in both the EV uptake on one hand and the supporting infrastructure and energy rollout on the other. Nations that are the forefront of this electric future will benefit economically and will see a very substantial improvement in human health and the environment by acting rapidly and with courage. And that's what America will achieve with President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law. In the 1950s, the United States had the foresight to build the unparalleled US highway system. This administration's forward-thinking vision to electrify that system is going to help American families. It decouples the cost of running the family car or driving to work from the fluctuations of the price per barrel of foreign oil. With this charging network in place, Americans are going to have access to fast, safe and reliable charging enabling drivers to cross the wide open plains of the US, the mountains, the national parks, and navigate the metropolises from New York to LA. Tritium has global expertise manufacturing and installing fast chargers across 41 countries. And we applaud President Biden's ambitious goals of electrifying the federal fleet and the equitable deployment of a national network of 500,000 EV chargers. President Biden's transport electrification Okay, wow. She just said 500,000 EV chargers. I wasn't aware that President Biden wanted to roll out 500,000 EV chargers across the US. But if that's going to be largely fulfilled or, you know, partially fulfilled by Tritium, clearly it's going to be a great investment for Palantir. Uh, this is uh, this is very, very promising. Let's keep going. Uh, 
and policies have contributed to enormous demand for tritium's products right here in the US, and that directly led us to pivot and change our global manufacturing strategy. And today, we could not be prouder to announce that we'll be opening a US manufacturing facility in Tennessee, expected to begin production this fall. This facility will have an initial capacity to build more than 10,000 fast charger units per year, with room to expand to 30,000. The factory will create American clean tech jobs, employing more than 500 people over the next five years. And we thank the governor and the state of Tennessee for welcoming Tritium with open arms. With the help of the residents of Tennessee, we'll be building our largest factory globally right here in the United States, assembling world-class, by America compliant, fast chargers made in America and trucked across the continent. By enabling EV owners to drive anywhere, Tritium is going to help fulfil the US target for 50% of new cars sold to be electric by the year 2030 and will support US economic ambitions to grow onshore manufacturing in advanced technologies while also growing jobs that don't leave anyone behind. These can be trained up in just a few weeks. Let me finish up by saying that we're all privileged to be living in this time of an historic shift in the way transport is powered and autonomously controlled. A bipartisan law has been passed which will benefit all Americans and put America at the global forefront of this opportunity. A future with cleaner air, quieter towns and cities awaits the American people, along with more onshore manufacturing and jobs, fuel security, and cars which frankly are just a joy to drive and own. This administration's support for US-based manufacturing is a smart economic initiative that will drive companies to create American jobs, and Tritium's a great case in point of that. And we look forward to powering American EVs with American-made fast chargers designed and hardened in the world's toughest conditions down under. Tennessee, we can't wait to get started. And now it is my honour to introduce the President of the United States. Jane, thank you. Thank you very, very much. I want to thank Secretary Granholm and Buttigieg and uh, Gina McCarthy for being here today, and Congressman Jim Cooper, an old friend who uh, did an awful lot to get this to uh, get this to go in Tennessee. And Governor Bill Lee of Tennessee, he deserves credit as well. He wasn't able to be here today, but he worked hard to help make this happen. Another example of what America can achieve when we come together, Democrats and Republicans, to get things done. The new manufacturing facility of Tritium is, that's announced today is more than just great news for Tennessee. Yes, it's going to create more than 500 good-paying jobs in Tennessee, but it's going to deliver greater dignity and a little more breathing room to workers and their families, and it's going to have a ripple effect beyond and far beyond the one state. This is great news for workers across the country, for an economy, and frankly, for the planet. When we wrote uh, the, and passed the bipartisan infrastructure law, we included $7.5 billion for electric vehicle chargers, like the one Jane brought along today. It's a little thing, as you can see. But all kidding aside, Secretaries Granholm and Buttigieg uh, have been helping lead this effort from our administration. And later this week, we're going to announce a state-by-state -state allocation for $5 billion of the funding for these chargers. So states can start making plans. $5 billion in funding for these chargers. I don't know if he meant, like, just in general chargers, but if he said these chargers, meaning Tritium's chargers, oh, my God, that is huge. And... I, 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 if I was the CEO, I would be ecstatic to get that kind of endorsement. ...to build out what will become a national network of electric vehicle chargers. Tritium's new facility is going to produce up to 30,000 of these chargers every year. They'll use American parts, American iron, American steel, and they'll be installed up and down the highways and carters in our communities all across the country by union workers from the IBW and the Electric, Worker, and the electrical Workers Union. So the benefits are going to ripple to thousands of miles in every direction. And, the, and these jobs will multiply 
and steel mills, small parts suppliers, construction sites all over the country in the years to come. And it's going to help ensure that the American, America leads the world in electric vehicles. China has been the leading that race up to now. But this is about to change because America is building convenient, reliable, equitable, national public charging networks. So wherever you live, charging an electric vehicle will be quick and easy. And the foundation will help build Amer help American automakers set the pace for electric vehicles, which means even more good paying jobs producing batteries, materials and parts. That's also going to help save hundreds of billions of gallons of gasoline over time. Serving, uh, saving an average driver who chooses electric vehicle up to $1,000 every year on fuel, making our country more economically competitive, lowering air pollution, and keeping families healthier as we tackle climate, the climate crisis. Here's, here's the key point. Announcements like this don't happen by accident. They require a vision and a commitment to build a future that's made in America. I made it clear from day one, when the federal government spends taxpayers' dollars, we're going to buy American, American products made in America, including American component parts. That's why I established the Made in America office at the White House, led by Celeste Drake. She's here on the stage. Where is she? There she is. Celeste Drake. To ensure that the trillion dollars we're investing in infrastructure is spent on American workers and American manufacturing. On the way over here, by the way, I was talking with Gina. Uh, we were talking about uh, we have how many vehicles in a fleet, Gina, roughly? 600,000. We have 600,000 federal vehicles that we, the federal government owns. They're going to all end up being electric vehicles, electric vehicles. That's what it means to finally make buying America a reality and not an empty promise. All right. So at a certain point, I realized they're just going to be discussing uh, their political achievements and, you know, their goals, ambitions, and it's not so much about tritium anymore. So I did find this very promising, you know, this investment that is being made. Uh, clearly, Palantir is able to secure deals with highly connected companies, companies that are making a difference to the extent that the president of the United States is endorsing them publicly and saying that they're going to be investing $5 billion in these type of chargers or in their chargers, uh, referring to Tritium. So that is a big deal. Uh, so I am happy for Palantir. I'm happy to see that management is continuing to execute, continuing to put the dots together. We, Joe, Tritium, Palantir, offering this ecosystem, offering the service to allow uh, government to decide where chargers should be placed, because obviously not everyone can afford one in their garage. So that's all I have to say. If you like what you see, then definitely hit the subscribe button and follow me on my journey. And I will see you on the next video. See ya.